English made easy with Cikgu Hana. Stay tuned with me, Cikgu Hana, on today's lesson. We are going to learn about parallel structure. What is parallel structure in sentences? Parallel structure means using similar forms of words and phrases to express similar parts of a sentence. It also means using the same pattern of words to show that two or more ideas have the same level of importance. Parallel structure should be used when you connect clauses with a coordinating conjunction such as for, and, nor, or, but, so, or yet. Why do we use parallel structure in sentences? Well, lack of parallel structure can disrupt the rhythm of a sentence, leaving it grammatically unbalanced. Besides, proper parallel structure helps to establish balance and flow in a well-constructed sentence. The alignment of related ideas supports readability and clarity. What happened to sentences without parallel structure? Well, the sentence could be confusing and lack of clarity. Now, let us look at the sentence below. Early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. In this sentence, the same form of adjectives, there are three adjective words being used in the same sentence, which are healthy, wealthy, and wise. So, it makes the sentence clear and easy to understand. Now, another sentence is sailing, surfing, and swimming are popular sports. So, sailing, surfing, and swimming take the same form, which is gerund. Let us look at another example. Rosalie likes to fish, to hunt, and to drive. So, three infinitives of the same form are being used in this sentence. To fish, to hunt, and to drive. Here is another example. After I opened the bill, I wrote the check. So, the words opened and wrote are two past tense verbs being used in the same sentence. And the last example, government of the people, for the people, and by the people. So, in this sentence, three similar phrases are being used to show parallel structure in a sentence. Okay, now, to make us better understand the importance of having parallel structure in a sentence, I'm going to show you um, samples of sentences without the presence of parallel structure. So here it goes. He likes to fish, to hunt, and driving. So driving is not parallel to to fish and to hunt. The correct sentence is he likes to fish to hunt and to drive. So, the two infinitives are consistently being used in the sentence, making the structure parallel and clear. Here is another example of a sentence without the presence of parallel structure. It is easier to do the right thing than doing wrong. So, what is wrong with this sentence? To do and doing are not the same structure. So, the correct one is it is easier to do the right thing than to do 
the wrong thing. So the same forms of infinitives are being used in the sentence to make it parallel. Let's look at another example. The graduates crossed the stage slowly and with great care. So the correct sentence would be the graduates crossed the stage slowly and carefully. So we replace the phrase with great care with carefully. So slowly and carefully, they are both adverbs making this sentence having a parallel structure. Okay, let's move on to another example. Planning your work in advance is better than to correct errors later. Now, planning in advance. So, planning in advance and then, then to correct. Planning and to correct, they are not parallel. Now, we should use the same form of words in the same sentence. So, planning and correcting, they are in the same forms, which is gerund. Alright, so I hope I've given you enough examples and it is clear to you that the parallel structure is a vital tool for all writers. So when structure is parallel, the reader's flow will be uninterrupted. Therefore, don't forget to apply parallel structure in your writing and I hope you will become effective writers. Okay, until then, thank you from Cikgu Hana. So please help me to subscribe my channel so that you will motivate me to produce more videos in the future. Okay, until then, see you next time. So long.